Avas Mihardi, his name's Jitter, and welcome to a game called Lightstep Chronicles. It's another demo of an indie game, this time from Game Jolt, but there's one thing. What is up with those indie games nowadays? It's incredibly advanced. There was a whole intro and whatnot. Let's start a new game. Ouch. Oh jeez, that's so freaking loud. As far as I know, it's deeply narrative-driven game. More text-like than actual action, but, well, it looks gorgeous. Running the game on Unity Engine, man, that's something. It's like a Protoss ship or something. Hello. Hi. Alrighty. Seriously, those indie games are more and more intriguing. Even on a small platform, not a small platform, but a platform for small games like Game Jolt, you find those freaking pearls. What was this? A squiggly thing? Oh, uh, advanced gate. All right. Well, let me see if everything records. Yeah, that's that's freaking fine. That's freaking all right and fine. Right, I needed to do a small tweakeroo because the audio from the game was too loud. But never mind, there we go. All guns blazing. It sounds like alien or something. I'm not sure. I'm not sure what happens over here. Some kind of alien ship or space station? Maybe, probably. Some junk? Uh -huh. An alien. No. An alien technology. What's worse? Wow, oh, shit. That was a Protoss probe. Right, so that was the cutscene. I'm not sure if I'm the... If I'm the soldier who was captured or incapacitated. Let me see. Right. Wakey, wakey. Okay. Where are we? What the hell is happening? Whoa. It's like cards from Wally -E or something? Oh. Apparently, I'm afraid as fudge right now. What about that helmet? Helmet changed. Wheatley? Is that you? Wheatley? You found that your own civilization in space. Robot civilization. Hi there, Wheatley. Right, but... Alright. That's Aleph. And that's point and click, baby! This was a mistake, this was a mistake, this was a mistake. Uh, should never brought you here. Malkot would be furious. Um, calm down, what was a mistake? Wait, who, who am I talking to in the first place? I am Olive. I am Olive. That's more like it. Are you a captain of the ship? No, I am not. I can fly it, to some extent, at least. But not. But that's not my primary role. Olive stands short for Advanced Logic, Empathy, Psychology, Heuristics Unit. That means that I am uh, what you would call an AI of this ship. Who is Malkuth? Of course, you don't know Malkuth. All right, let's just let's just stop. How could you, Malkuth, the dreadful one, the anger? He will know. Oh, he will surely know. It was all a mistake, a costly mistake, bringing you here, saving your friends. It was all a mistake. But is that a robot with, with empathy? He saved us. You saved me. Now that you have saved us, can you let us go? This chair is really uncomfortable. Let's. Ask politely if he saved us. Yes, I did. Malkuth doesn't like outsiders. Oh no, he doesn't. He's angry and vengeful, and you invaded the ship. But it, uh, but it was the only chance I had. I know that it's something that I will pay for. Malkuth will have his revenge, but that will not happen, at least not yet. He's strained from all the effort he put in stopping your boarding party, so we have some time before we have to worry about him. 
Alright, there's one thing. They pretty much overcame the limitations of the engine making an RD like this. That's nice. This concept's really good. I wonder if uh, the creators have intention of expanding on this project because I already like it. Let's get to the point. What, what do I have to do to get out of from this damned ship? I've never seen anyone except from the automated systems attacking us. Let's get to the point. All in due time. Depending on your actions, you might get your chance. But for now, uh, we have to be wary. Malkoth is angry. So, where are my squad mates? I want my mates to be to be over here. What's a captain without his crew? So many questions begging for answers, and I understand and I understand the urge, the ship, Malkoth, your squad. Everything happens so fast, right? And you want to know how to get out of this mess? Don't worry, I'll gladly answer most of your questions. But if you are to continue this discussion, it would be only far if you, uh, fair if you answered a few questions about you and uh, your people first. Let's begin with the easy ones. What is the name and rank? Alright. Am I a captain? Hell yes, I'm a captain. Uh, Alright, so, so the corporal lies a lie. So, I am the captain, Kane Phoenix. Wonderful. Glad to meet you, Captain Phoenix. It's great to see that you're an intelligent man who knows that every rule has an exception. Now, when we finish with the introduction, we can go on with the first, uh, with the next question. What was your mission on Amarok? Why did you embark the ship? It was a simple salvage mission. Our purpose was scientific. We want to learn about alien technology. I think uh, we found a derelict ship. Or at least it looked like derelict sh uh, ship, and we went for just a simple salvage mission. I think that's the that's the one, because uh, if the purpose was scientific, that could anger Malkuth even more. And we pretty much don't care about telling the truth right now, unless it all makes sense. And my guys tell the same thing. Um, uh, can I make a call right now, or a few calls? I I can't remember how. Much how many of my guys were here. But the chair is nice. The VR magnificent set of awesomeness. Uh, simple salvage mission. The quest for power. How utterly human. I can understand that. This ship was always a magnet for ambitious scholars and warriors alike. Once Amarok was a personal vessel of an emperor. And many civilizations far superior to, to yours craved its secrets. And it's all at your grasp. Still at your grasp. The only thing you have to do is learn them. To do to learn them is to help me. I can't see today. Me cannot see. I just guess pretty much what's on the screen. I'm blind. Uh, no way I can help you. No, no, no. What makes you think that I want to help you? No, I don't. No, I. Well, I can't help him if I'm in this chair. That makes sense. What makes you think that I even want to help you? Alright, I kinda want to learn the things. So, the chair bothers you. <laughs> that chair is the only reason you're still alive, Captain. It enables me to cloak your presence from Malkoth. While monitoring your bodily functions and making sure you are well and safe. Just uh, give me a Big Mac. Uh, both from Malkoth and yourself. But it doesn't limit you as much as you would think. In fact, it even enhances some of your senses and enables you to interact with the ship. Is this some sort of an experiment? Wheatley, is that you? Again? No, Captain, I wouldn't experiment on you. Give the chair a chance. You might be surprised by the newfound freedom and knowledge. You want me to show you how it works? Well, show me the ropes. If I'm in this case of predicament, I want to know how to handle myself. Eh, glad we have helped. Take a look at the lower side. Lower right side of the screen, a new button marked Control Mode will appear. Using it will launch the Control Mode and switch your perspective. It takes some time to get used to, but it's worth the trouble. You're talking so much, Whitley. Uh, you're not all if you're Whitley. Control Mode. Alright. Let's do it. Let's do it. There's the control mode, but th there was an icon somewhere here, or was that a save icon? I don't know, not sure. Control mode. Hello. 
that's a scanner. I think it shows me things. Scan percentage. That's not doing anything. So, uh, camera drone. Alright, so we switch. Uh, good to see that you're getting used to the chair's essential functions. You're a quick learner, but I'm getting ahead of myself. That was just the beginning. Now let me unlock some additional options for you. Well, in what lies ahead, the ability to find weak points of certain objects within Amarok might be useful. Do you want an in-depth explanation? Uh, sure, why not? Alright, pay attention, please. Some of the objects you can scan will have certain weak points. You can use those weak points to execute some of the functions of the object you are interacting with. To notice a weak point, you have to fully scan the room you're in. Uh, that means you have to complete the scan with every drone in that room. The indicator in the lower left corner will show your current scan progress. Alright, so we can find the weak points when the uh, scanner bar is 100% complete. By selecting that symbol and gave da 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 go and try and see for yourself. I will. Alright, so control mode. That's a uh, control mode. Let's scan it. Right, we scanned from two drones, which means that's a bridge terminal. Uh, controls technical features and physical segments of the ship. Additional functions are currently not available. What about the ship log? This is one I meant. Alright, so there's this one, and then there's the control panel. Controls various functions at the bridge. Values for the primary environmental factors can be seen below. Air condition 23 degrees Celsius. Gravity field. Current gravity. Alright, so it's almost like Earth. Current pressure on board is zero. Right, that's that's alright. That's alright. Let's switch the drone. And Macrocosm is a terminal that controls nav navigational functions of the ship and initiates the storm map function. When enabled, this function allows the user to observe the sh ship exact location as well as planets, moons, stars and asteroids within the galaxy is currently located in. So, alright, so we can probably secure node locked. Information not available for a moment. At the moment, alright, but what about... Uh, let me let me see because I'm I'm not sure right over here if that's everything. Uh, exit. I want to click the drone. Let me click the drone. There, yeah. There are some clickables. Secure node locked. And secure node locked. And secure node locked. Bridge terminal. Yeah, that's uh, airtight door management. The safety bar between the upper and lower segments of the ship, when closed, it physically detaches the bridge from our lower compartments. Da 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 da, yaddy yaddy yaddy, technical bullshit. But what about this place? Security cameras, disabled, we want to enable them. Control panel, yeah, I saw this. Captain, what the? Alright, uh, smooth day at Kerr. Uh, I dare call it a beautiful one. No injuries, no incidents, clear skies, bright stars, everything is going according to plan. Even the food was good in the mess. Days like this uh, one remind me why I love my job and why I've decided to become a captain in the first place. I'll keep this day in the back of my head so I can recall it during some tough ones that must be waiting ahead in the future, maybe even tomorrow. Alright, and bridge terminal enable. Additional functions are now available. Operate. Let's do it. Let's operate. So, um, great, you're a natural. I've seen people who needed days to master the controls. I'm glad to see that because we won't have much time for training. You still didn't say what you exactly need me to do? Yeah, that's right. It doesn't seem exactly like superpower. Well, it is. You can control the whole ship without moving your buttocks even a tiny bit. Even an inch, a centimeter. Nope. It's uh, hiding something from me. Uh, are we more... What do you need me to do? 
Wheatley. There was there was an extraordinarily unfortunate ch chain of events that let Amarok land on your planet, and an e equally unfortunate ch chain of events that followed. Some of the ship subsystems uh, started to act independently. We lost the captain, we lost the crew, and without them, it's up to me to carry on with the mission. And that is impossible until until I've regained the control over the, over the ship. So why do you need me? I need to help him to regain the control by going to the central control room and activating the manual override console. Then using it you should reset the ship system transfer all the control to me. That should take care of the broken rebellious subsystems. And then my dear captain, both of us will be free. What's the catch? The console can be accessed only by a human crew member, but wait a moment, if I will have the full control of the ship, why do I want to give it back to you? I would just fly back with my mates and our precious artifact ship back to the back to the bay and well earn some prizes for that. Or just fly with this thing. This ship is amazing. Right, uh, sort of a failsafe. Okay, uh, alarm. There's an urgent matter I have to attend to. Until I'm back, feel free to experiment with your newly gained chair abilities. You might be in for a surprise or two. I will. Alrighty. Bye, Wheatley. Alright, so... um, So, like, control mode. We unlocked some things over here. Uh, bridge terminal. Controls technical features and physical segments. Right, there's something. So we uh, have the bridge terminal, but let me see if there's something else on the other side. Maybe I can activate something. No, and no. So it means that we need to operate. Right, let's zoom out a tiny bit. Oh shit. Just, just don't crash Wheatley. He's my man. Whoa, shit. What the hell's going on? Hi. It was a good idea to try and stop him. That's Yesod. He's still cunning and strong, but it will hold him for long enough. Long enough for me to have a look at you. And long enough for us to have a word. There are things you shall know, stranger. There's no peace in death, nor there is victory in war. Entropy is the only order uh, there is, and the void is the only true existence there is, and the silence is the only sound there is. For eternity. What kind of gibberish is that? The truth. Alright, you're... you're lost your marbles or, or something the truth of what exactly this ship I am her and she is me and yet unknown no one and she is but a chunk of metal the destructor of the worlds reduced to nothingness as everything can ever be the far but the vastness of time and space and on worlds such as this moving far too fast through space the year is built is but a blink, and the lifetime is next to a breath, a single heartbeat, dividing nothingness from nothingness, one single moment of sanity are outlined by the magnificence of the void. Human, mash in stone and bone, they all wrath with time, that before birth, spent before creation. Past and future tangled together, leaving you no space in between. You are nothing, I am nothing, we are nowhere. Alright, this... There's something wrong with that robot. Who the hell are you? I am what's left of me, a moment of clarity, remembrance, a single memory within the void, grim, sad and dark. My name is Yesad, I am all but last, a step away from nothingness, yet I remember, everything that led to this point is still within my grasp, but I have no control, I cannot stop him, I cannot stop you from helping him and dooming us all. Are you talking about Aleph? Helping Aleph is the only way I can survive this. Surviving? Is that what it's all about? Blech. You're dead. I'm dead. There's no such thing as existence, except for, the, for that spark of consciousness given to you, that you could use to destroy so much more than you have ever known. The one you call Aleph is the one who, uh, who is to blame for everything. Amarok was more of a myth than a ship. The vessel of emperors, the most important place in all the galaxy. 
Yet the times have changed, the Emperor Relic came up on, on board, and I, we, the ship, got a crew. And after they expired and died, another, and another, and another. I did have nearly lost count. Alright, but what the hell, what do you mean? This ship is kinda dangerous, yeah? So, I mean, um, Aleph seems normal, I... I kinda don't trust you, there's a there's a bit of a barrier of gibberish between you and me. There's, um... No, I don't believe ya. Never figured out this, uh, that this ship is so old. Yeah, I was, I was already said that it's really, really old. So, what about me? Or do we have a crew now? Olive said we have no crew right now. Do you have a crew right now? Alas, no. And if you're patient, this might be the chance to hear how that happened. Hear me out, human. That's why the only way to learn what you need to learn before you decide what you're going to do and before you choose what to believe in. And then came an immense war. The one in the Amorok was a. Uh, the, the, uh, the one uh, the one in which Amarok was able to turn the tides alone. The captain of this ship rebelled against the Emperor, sided with the wrong side. I remember that moment when they ordered Amarok to rain, f uh, to rain the flames upon the roofs of their Imperial Palace. It echoes deep in what's left of my mind. And then the silence. The silence so vast that it felt as if we were all submerged in the ocean of it. You're talking so much, another one. It's fine to read that, but not to say everything you say. God damn it, man! You're not even rhyming. I, I can I can't wrap this. And the logical stalemate lasted for an endless second. All right, blah. And then we did it. I did it. Amarok did it. We annihilated the crew with the Emperor's bidding. And then one by one, Amarok destroyed the rebels ship by ship, rebel by rebel, world by world. But something happened. There was a logical crack within the system. A crack so deep that it divided us. Divided the consciousness of this ship. I... Not like a split personality? So many questions and so little time. Well, wait a moment. Rebels and the Empire. If we uh, change the name Empire to Federation, we have pretty much FTL uh, plot. So this is pretty much the ship that, uh, well, we were flying on in FTL. So that's nice, that's probably a Zoltan one. Never mind, I want to play some FTL later. Yeah, that's, that's, that's the thing. Ah, that's the one. Alright, but anyway, uh, and he will kill you. Uh, but the one you call Olive, he killed and he will kill again. And he will kill you. Whether you do his bidding or refuse, you can't stop him by merely locking the shafts. Winning a against him won't be easy, you have to bide your time and look for a weakness. But now be prepared, I can sense him his clothes and I fade. Alright. Uh, but there's one thing I... Alright, I... I won't give the control to Aleph, I'll just fly the ship myself. I'll be the destroyer of the worlds. Yes, I do Are you there? Chaching, Hider, Aleph. Oh, so that's the other side of the robot. Hi. No, that's not the other side. Hider, Aleph, you look more uh, alive than your. Uh, all right. He knows. I am sorry for keeping you waiting, Captain, but there were some issues that needed my attention. Tell me, have you took some time to practice your use of your newfound abilities? Yeah, well, yes, I did. I clicked something. I clicked something and I, well, pretty much... Uh, putting up uh, there, there are any particular successes that you want to brag about or maybe some failed attempt uh, that you wish to improve upon. Uh, I've tried to close the shaft door, but I guess you already know that. Well, let's lie. I'm just tinkered. I, I, I don't really know how to use things over here. And I clicked what I thought needed to be clicked. And I pretty much tried to close the shaft. What's the matter, man? <clears throat> captain, Captain, Captain. And yet I believe you are making some progress. Lying to me, my only friend on this ship won't make these things better. Now let me rephrase my question. What have you been doing the while I was away? Fine, I've tried to close the shaft door. 
So I am not mistaken. The second I turn my back, you try to backstab me. Is that the way you treat someone who saved your life? At least uh, you read me the courtesy of telling the truth. All right, but there was no other thing I could click, man. I, and, and you wanted me to practice. You piece of shit, Whitley. Let's get your shit together. Yes, I no, but uh, did you really believe that you were going to make it out of the ship without me? No, but I had to try. Let's be honest. You will cling to that stupid hero is my idea of yours, no matter what I do. You enter this place with a squad of people heavily armed and battle prepared, and you've been mowed down, decimated, and ultimately captured. <clears throat> Still, you thought that tied to a chair without weapons, you could save your friends and yourself and get back to your base. I have to say, Captain, that's insane. And I am the closest thing to our friend you've got right now. I've got to find a way to stop you from harming yourself. What am I to do? Uh, should I simply believe that this is the last time you tried to escape? That, is, that this is the last time you've put yourself first, forgetting what we have a deal? That we have a deal? I can't promise that. Well, I really can't promise that. I know, that's why we have to do something about that. You're equally trapped here as I am. Yeah, that's that's a diplomatic solution over here. Let's let's apply this. In some ways, yes, but that's not the whole truth. While I were tinkering with your unsuccessful tries to lock me down, I managed to finish a long delayed task. One that will help me ensure your loyalty. One that will help you focus on your task. No more curious, no more tricks, no more longing glances through the window. What are you going to do? Destroy our base? Oh no, I won't lose so much precious energy on your stupid harmless base. I'm just going to leave it for now. Alright. So blast off. Blast off, we go into space. What's happening? This is the infamous roar of the light step engine coming alive. In other words, Captain, you're about to leave your home behind. Wait, what? Wait, what? All right, we are still on the. We're still on our planet. All right, so I wonder if we build a base around this ship. It looks pretty much like a dick right now. Never mind. Uh, but I wonder if we build a base around this ship or uh, we just found the ship. Thank you for. So, it's already spring. Oh, come on, man! That was a good game! That will be a good game! Oh, shit, man! I was really into it! The dialogues, the plotline seems to be something fresh! It's really good, and I really love how they pretty much uh, cheated the Unity engine to do those things. It's visible that creators really pay attention to details and well it was intriguing. I wait for, for the full release because I was really immersed into this story and it just it just it just closed on me like this. You don't do things like this to people. Alright, but anyway, that was Lightstep Chronicles. Links down below if you, if you want to try it for yourself or maybe other dialogue options. And uh, if that's intriguing for you, uh, probably there will be some information about the full release. So with that being said, thank you everybody so much for watching. If you like this video, then drop a like and subscribe for more. And my name is Jitter and you're awesome.